Hi, welcome to another video of Multitrack Cassette Fans. My name is Dennis, and in this video I want to show you how to properly connect an effect unit, like a reverb or a delay, to your four-track recorder. In this example I'm using my Lexicon MPX500. It's, uh, it's Maybe it's, it's kind of an old, old reverb unit. I've owned it for uh, maybe 15 or 20 years now. So, uh, second hand, they're not so expensive anymore. If you can find one, get it. It'll be worth the money. It has great reverb sounds, uh, choruses, flangers, all kinds of stuff. I've used this one for hundreds of hours of recording and mixing, and it, uh, it never disappointed me. Okay, for this video, I set up my test cam 414. Um, I prepared a simple drum track in uh, GarageBand on my computer. And the output of that is going uh, into channel 1 and channel 2. Channel 1 will be the bass drum. Channel 2 will be the snare drum. I'll, uh, I'll hit play on uh, GarageBand. Okay, so you see only on the bass drum. These view meters are, uh, this view meter is, is lighting up. And on the snare, for the snare this one is lighting up. And now I'm going to hook up my effect unit to my uh, to my four track. So I'm connecting a cable to the effect send one. Okay, so on the back of the reverb we have two inputs, left and right, and on this particular model uh, we have to put our mono since we're only uh, sending a mono signal to the reverb unit, we have to connect it to right. And I'm gonna connect another cable to the left output of my effect unit. And we're going to feed that back into input five, six of the recorder. Now, one of my favorite reverbs on the Lexicon MPX500 is the uh, number three, the large plate, which is a very, uh, very usable, nice, wide reverb. It's very important to have the, the mix set up to all wet. Setting the mix to uh, all wet instead of another percentage. On most effect units, you'll see... Uh, uh You'll see a dry setting and a wet setting, but in this case you always want the mix setting to wet, which means that there's no original sound coming out of the uh, effect unit, but only the effect sound. So if we put a reverb on the snare drum, there'll be no snare drum sound coming out of the effect unit back to the recorder, but only the reverb of the snare. Okay. So now we've connected uh, the effect send, the effect output, to the input of our, uh, of our effect unit. And the output of the effect unit is coming back in to channel 5, 6. It's a stereo channel on this uh, recorder. Um, on, your, uh, on your recorder it, it could be uh, a, a, dual, uh, a dual mono uh, input but uh, this one has a stereo in input. Okay, so let's turn this halfway up. Okay, so now I'm going to hit play on my drum machine. Okay, for instance, w we would like to have a, have a rever reverb on the, on, the, on the snare drum. So since we've connected this, uh, the reverb to the effect one, we should turn up effect the effect one knob. Okay, so there's our reverb. I 
can uh, I can turn the reverb a little um, a little more uh, a little louder. So now the reverb is becoming more more prominent, even more prominent than the snare drum itself. So I'm turning this a little back. And we can also put a reverb on the bass drum or any other of your tracks, doesn't matter which sound. Now we hear the, the reverb on the bass drum. I can I can remove the, the reverb on the on the snare. It's kind of a strange strange effect. Most of the time, you want a you want a nice reverb on the snare, and not so much, if any, on the bass drum. Okay, so that's our reverb. Okay, so now I'm selecting another uh, another type of reverb. Drum plate. Mix is all wet again, and I'm hitting play on the drum machine. Selecting vocal plate now. It's kind of a shorter delay, so it also sounds different. This is the gate, gated drums. It's kind of an 80s uh, drum sound. Let's have it on the bass drum also. Uh, lots of 80s hits were made with this, uh, with this effect, on the, especially on the drums. This is a small hall. Excuse me, that was the EQ. Gothic hall. This is called an ambience. It should be it should um, add a little, uh, just a little small space effect, as if you were in a small room. This one's called Tiled Room. there we have our effect unit connected to our four track recorder i hope you like this video i hope it was kind of useful to you and uh have fun recording have fun adding reverb to your recordings and see you next time <laughs>